this lesson, we are going to talk about how to hold a guitar and your pick. So guitars are generally played while sitting down. Uh, you can sit on a stool or you can even stand up with this. If you have a strap with your guitar, you can stand up and play. Uh, it is always advised to play your guitar, your practice your guitar the way you're going to perform. If you're going to perform standing up, try practice standing up. If you're going to perform sitting down, you can definitely sit down and play your guitar. But for beginners, for the very couple of few months while you're learning, it is advised to sit down and start playing your guitar. So while you're sitting down, it is important to sit properly. You should have a little bit, uh, you should be sitting straight with your back, not this even, but sit straight casually and try not to hunch over like this to have a look at your strings and while you're playing, that would be not good for your posture. You will get a really bad ache. I used to sit like this and try even not to get your guitar like this so that you can have a look at the fretboard again. Try not to do that as well. Sit down on a stool. I'm sitting on a stool as well. Uh, try not to sit on a chair with arms. If you are having a chair with arms, then your, your, your shoulders will go like this or you might not be able to place your guitar comfortably. Pick up a stool or something without the armless chair. You can go for that as well. Sit down. Go have your feet, have your leg and your feet on the ground. And you can use a guitar stool as well. Guitar stools are used to raise your right leg or your little uh, left leg a little ab above the common level. I generally do not use that because I find it a little bit awkward to carry your guitar stool everywhere. So I just sit normally. And then what you need to do is take your guitar, put it on your leg, put it on your thigh. Uh, if you're a right-handed player, it goes like this. Your left hand is on your fretboard. If you're a left-handed player, it goes the other way around. If you have a left-handed guitar and you are a left-handed player, you will have a guitar that would be going the other way around and your right hand would be on the fret and your left hand would be strumming. And for the right-hand players, it goes like your left hand is on the fretboard and your right hand is used for strumming. So this is the casual way of sitting. There are other ways to sit as well. Second mostly used way to sit is the classical posture. Uh, in that you keep your guitar in between your both your thighs like this and your neck is actually going up. So some people find this comfortable. Um, majorly this this is this comes from the Spanish background classical guitars players uh, so that is why it is called classical so you sit like this your guitar goes in between your legs and it, the fretboard now comes uh, at an angle above and it this feels comfortable for the fretboard but for me I do not find this uh, comfortable you need to experiment and find your way how you feel comfortable sitting down and if you feel comfortable sitting down casually, sit down casually like this, like I'm sitting in all of the videos. And if you feel comfortable sitting classically, you will need, you might, you will definitely need a foot tool for the classical posture to raise your left leg and balance your guitar. Try it out. If you fi find that comfortable, you can sit that way as well. The last way to do it is stand up. If you stand up, I, I will, if I stand up, I will be out of the frame, but still, let's see how much I'm coming. The, when you, whenever you are standing up, you should have a strap and your guitar should not move. And whenever you are standing up, try, try that you, sh you do not go all the way with the strap, losing, hanging your guitar loose, like a cool rock star st straight away. You can do that in future when you are an advanced or a pro player. But for now, try to have your strap uh, in a way that your guitar, when you start up, stand up, do not move and you have the same height and distance. Camera angle at present is not allowing to show you everything, but you get the point, I guess. The most important aspect for this uh, lesson would be what not to do, actually. What you should not do. The first thing is do not slouch. Do not go like this to have a look at the fretboard. The second thing would be, do not lay your guitar flat, not like this, do not do that as well. The third thing would be, when you are standing up, do not go all cool with your guitar around your feet, straight up. Uh, if you want to see, you can see a different number of rock players like Flea and all them playing in, in near your feet. That is another way to do as you grow. As of now, focus on learning, 
Later down, you can add style. So next up is how to hold your picks. This is a nylon pick that I have here. Uh, this is uh, made of nylon material and this is a jazz style pick. There are different style of picks. There's a, there are uh, there is celluloid pick, there is tortoise shell pick, there is wooden pick and a lot of materials. If you want to know more about pick shapes and style, I suggest you go to the blog and have a read. Link is in the description box and you can have a look. So let's talk first about how not to hold your picks. Do not hold your picks from the edges like this. It's really flimsy. When you pick, it will fall a lot and you will not get any attack or any sense of comfort when you hold your pick like this. Even do not hold your pick from here that you are just able to see a little bit of tip. Do not do that as well. All right. So the way to hold your pick is very fair and simple. You should hold your pick, not using your tips of your index and your thumb finger. Rather, you should hold it in between your index finger and your thumb. All right. So the way to do it is make a gun with your index finger and your thumb. If you are a right handed player, do it with your right hand. If you are a left handed player, go with your left hand. All right. Make a gun with your index finger and your thumb. And now just fold this index finger inwards. All right, J just like this. Once you have it, place your pick on top and close it with your thumb. That is all, this is how you hold your pick. Now, once you do this, you might not be feeling that comfortable. So a little bit of adjustment you can definitely make. You might find a little bit of upper side or the lower side to be comfortable. That is completely fine. But do not hold it like this. All right, so this is how you go with your pick. So next important thing is how you use your pick. You do not pick your guitar like this, this loud and making it ah, you do not do that. Neither do you do, it's not gonna get, get hurt as well, right? So the way is stay gentle, but have a little bit of attack. And when you pick the strings, you do not pick it straight with your picks. You do not go straight with your, you have, you need to, bend your hand a little bit at an angle, downward angle. A little bit uh, downward angle while picking helps you go smoothly. You can easily go through the strings. So angle your hand a little bit downward and then pick your guitar strings. This will help you go through the strings and this will help you in skipping the strings as well. Do not keep it straight, like dead straight and then pick it, all right? So just a little angle downwards and pick it from this part of your pick. Try to pick. There are several players with different style of holding the picks. As you progress and you learn and as you grow as a guitar player, you will definitely have your own sense of style of how to hold your pick. Every player has his or her own style. So you will definitely develop one. But the major thing to keep in mind is what not to do. Do not hold your pick like this from the very edge. Do not hold it from the very close part as well. Do not hit your strings dead straight with your pick. Pick it at an angle. Let it bend downward and then pick your guitar. These are the things to keep in mind when you are holding your pick. So that is all there is for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any comments or queries, do post them in the comment sections below. I will definitely try and answer your queries. and. Do subscribe to the channel, that really helps me and keeps you updated with all the upcoming posts as well. Okay, that is all there is. I will see you around in the next video. The next video is about how to tune your guitar.